Somebody ordered for croaker fish stew. So I'm just gonna show you how I made the croaker fish stew quickly. Okay, so in working with croaker fish, you have to be very careful, especially if you want to fry it, because it can easily give way. That's the reason why I have flour, corn flour, and seasoning here for it. So, the first thing I'm going to do, or the first thing you do when you get your croaker fish is to remove the scales. This one, they helped us do it in the market, so that's why I'm not doing it here. You remove the scales, you clean the guts as you clean inside. Then I'm also removing the fin. This they did not do. So you just take a scissors to remove the fin. It can be very strong, croaker fish. I'll place the fish in the bowl. Then I'm going to season it with salt, garlic, fish and garlic, they go well together. So this is garlic powder, then seasoning. After coating it with your seasoning, then the next thing I'm going to do is add about two to three tablespoons of cornstarch two to three tablespoons of flour two one more seasoning because of the flour we're going to make sure everything is coated properly then lay them out to rest I'll do it to the head too. Okay, so this is fine. I'll leave them in a corner to rest. And I'll begin to blend my tomatoes, pepper and onions now for frying. I'll add the bell peppers. Pepper according to the client's taste. We always get to ask, what's your taste? Do you want it hot? Do you want it mild? Yeah. So that way you give them exactly what they want. I'll add some water to enable it blend. And here we go. It's blended now. I'll add the next batch. All right, so this is fine. So I have a pan here. I'm going to add oil enough to fry the fish. I'll turn the cooker on. So my oil is heating up, I have to wait for it to be hot. It has to be really hot before I start frying the fish because if it's not hot, your fish is just be soaking oil. So it's best for it to be hot before you fry. The oil is hot now and I'll just drop the fish. Now another good thing about using the flour for the fish, um, it kind of takes some of that moisture out of it so it will not be um, splashing everywhere. If it will splash at all, it won't be too much. Okay, so we have to gently turn the other side to cook. Something else that you can do if you do not want to fry is to place it in an air fryer to cook. So I have taken the head and some other part of the fish to cook in an air fryer. Yeah, I'll show you that later. All right, so it's time to bring out this batch. So the fish is ready. The one in the air fryer is ready too. It's time for me to start making the stew.
So I have oil in the pot now. I'll just add chopped onions. This is half of a bulb, the tablespoon of garlic. See, garlic and fish, they go very well. So once you are cooking fish, add enough garlic. Stir on that. Then add the blended tomatoes, pepper, onions, and tatashe. That's the bell pepper. And I'll add about three tablespoons of tomato paste. Cover it to cook. Okay, it's cooking well and bubbling away. I'll just give it a few minutes before I add the fish. Looks really good. The color is so good. I'm going to add the fish to the stew. You really cannot tell the difference between the fried fish and the air fried fish. You really, really cannot tell. I'm going to add seasoning. Salt, some fresh Cuban oregano leaves, that aroma, fantastic, a little bit of water, taste to be sure, seasoning is right. That's good. Cover it to cook till it's done. I'll pack my stew now for the client and send it via delivery to them. Okay, so don't forget you can always order your stews, your soups, your corn pudding, moi moi, anything concerning catering for your events, for your office parties, home parties, birthdays. Just holler at us. All the information you can get right now. Facebook, Foodies and Spice, YouTube, Foodies and Spice, um, foodiesandspice at gmail.com, you can email us. Use the WhatsApp number you are seeing as well to reach. You can reach us through any of those mediums, okay? So we can cater for you. Time to pack this. This looks good, like very, very good. I had to put the other head of fish in. I found space, so I put it in so that all of them will soak the stew. All right, let me pack it. The stew has been delivered and the person has received her stew. Let me read the message to you. She says, good evening, trust you are fine. I have received my package, thank you. I love the stew. The fish is well spiced and really delicious. This is real value for money spent. Thank you so much. How am I feeling? I'm feeling like food is a spice, you know, food is a spice, yeah? Alright, so I'll be waiting for your orders, especially if you live around Lagos, okay? Now, if you like this video, please give me a thumb up, share and comment. If you have not subscribed to my YouTube channel, do click on the subscribe button and notification bell to enjoy more of my recipes.